Anti-drug group DARE, Drug Abuse Resistance Education, is notorious for its anti-drug campaigns and sending police into schools to teach kids the dangers of drugs. The organization is even described by the U.S. government as the most reliable source of information about drugs for kids. It's odd, then, that on March 30th, an ominous so-called news story was posted to the D.A.R.E. website proclaiming that 21 people died after consuming cannabis-infused candy. The problem, of course, is that the story is a fabrication, a mere joke article printed by a satirical website. Despite the obvious lies found in the article, the so-called experts on drug abuse education reprinted it as fact on their website, and it was left there for more than a month for all to see. Not until reporters contacted Dare to inquire about the article was it taken down. Here are some quotes from the satirical piece to understand just how badly Dare got it wrong. It is sad that in a country as developed as America, third world drugs such as marijuana are allowed to exist. Children are being addicted to marijuana. I knew this day would come when a liberal president allowed a state to legally sell marijuana Flintstone vitamins to children. For so-called drug experts, the claims are startling. Quote, marijuana. It is one of the most dangerous drugs on earth. We're only seeing the tip of the iceberg here. For every one joint of marijuana, four teenagers become burdened with pregnancy. They also claim that men who eat pot candies have lower testosterone levels and fits of primal aggression, with no source to back up the claims. A quick glance at the satirical website, and it's glaringly obvious you won't find any facts within. The site is home to stories like Obama's plan to start the Ebola zombie apocalypse in America revealed, and three-day-old McDonald's food sprouts legs has fight to the death. Now, this would be funny if the perpetrator, Dare, wasn't held up as the best source of drug info for kids. How are children supposed to believe anything this organization says when they post satire as fact? When D.A.R.E. blatantly lies about cannabis, it causes confusion and doubt and could lead to kids trying hard drugs. With cannabis use high in the U.S. and many states softening drug laws, lumping cannabis in with meth and heroin as a dangerous, deadly drug only diminishes warnings about drugs that actually kill people and ruin lives. Is D.A.R.E. a good use of taxpayer dollars? The U.S. government seems to think so. The organization received funding from the DOJ, the DOD, DEA, U.S. State Department, and other government organizations. It's irresponsible for lying propagandists to receive public funding while having access to millions of children worldwide.